hope you guys are having a good month. Um, it's time for your August forecast. Mm. Let's get started. Spirit, what are the messages for Libra? Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Spirit, what are the messages for Libra? Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Spirit, what are the messages for Libra? Sorry, one second. Uh, what is this? Oh. Today I have an energy reading with um, another YouTube intuitive reader, um, Red Earth Goddess. You guys should check out her YouTube channel. She does energy readings and intuitive readings. Um, so I will actually post some information um, on my channel so you guys can check her out. She's excellent. Um, and I'm going to have my first reading with her today, actually in a half an hour. So that's why I was distracted for a minute. Spirit, what are the messages for Libra? Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising. Spirit, what are the messages for Libra? Okay. A bunch of cards just flipped out. I did get um, the Seven of Wands, the Two of Cups reversed, the Hangman, and the Eight of Swords reversed. So some of you may be struggling in a relationship and things might be on hold while you um, might, might, might have been on hold while you are getting yourself out of a bad situation. Um, just some some of you may be uh, dealing with some issues within a relationship this month um, and feel like you're stuck and need to take a time out to get yourself out of a bad situation. Um, Spirit, what are the messages for Libra, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and Libra Rising? First telling me I can go ahead and cut the cards. Okay. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Swords reversed. Justice reversed. Page of Cups. Seven of Wands. Four of Cups reversed, Tower reversed, Six of Swords reversed, Strength reversed, Four of Wands, Judgment, Page of Swords, Six of Cups reversed, Eight of Pentacles reversed, and the Chariot reversed. So let's get started. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Okay. All right. So Libra, the first thing I am noticing after I put these cards down is the number of reversed cards in your reading. Quite a few. Seven, eight. And let me look at the major arcana. One, two, three, four. So what I'm getting with the number of reversed cards and the major arcanas that are showing up for me 
is um, there's some blocked energy that um, things are some something is um, I'm getting a sense that something is being held back or prevented from moving on. Someone is feeling uh, like they're there was like some kind of injustice done to them, uh, possibly legally or um, karmically, and um, things are just, uh, there's a period in the middle of August where there's a lot of um, stagnant energy, like, like you're trying to regain your strength to move on, but um, I feel like um, towards the end of August, you will get um, a decision. You will have a decision. A decision will be made. Um, it's just not, um, it's just going to be hard to, to move on so fast. Um, so those are just some, some, some bigger energies at play that I'm, that I'm picking up. Um, so if you're not familiar with my readings, this will represent the first weeks of August, the middle of August, and the end of August, and um, there may be some residual energies coming in from last month or the past um, in this area of the reading. So let me begin. You have the Five of Pentacles in the beginning of August. So you might have been going through kind of a hard time in a relationship or with health or work. Some of you may have been out of work looking for a job. Some of you may have been um, in a relationship that wasn't fulfilling you. Um, you may have felt like there was something lacking in your life, uh, either spiritually or um, your finances could have been poor. Um, really, when I see the Five of Pentacles, we know that there's there's light, there's places for you to go. There's there's light at the end of the tunnel and there's there definitely is. Um, the universe does provide, but you're not seeing it in this particular card. So you may feel out and you might've felt out in the cold a bit um, with regards to the situations that I, that I mentioned as potential uh, situations. Um, I'm also, with the Seven of Swords reversed, um, normally this card to me means someone does not get away with something. Someone is, if they were trying to cheat, if they were trying to um, steal something from you, if they were trying to leave, um, they don't, they aren't able to, they get caught. Um, but with the justice reversed, um, I do see that um, someone may have gotten away with, someone maybe someone doesn't get away with something and um, does something unjust. And that may be why you are feeling out in the cold. Um, so karmically speaking, there was an injustice. Someone did try to get away with something, but they were caught. And as a result, it left you feeling uh, spiritually, spiritually hollow, um, uh, that you were bereft of, of of uh, feeling whole because this person got away with something and that was unjust. Um, I do see you getting you got some positive news though, um, and we're feeling more lighthearted towards the end of the first week of August. And you continue to stand your ground and fight for what you believe in. So I do see an upswing in the energy um, after the first week of August. Now going into the middle of August is where I see some of the issues um, happening. I do see you coming out of a period of indifference where you just, you were not interested. You didn't, whatever it was, you, you didn't care. You just, it was sort of a feeling like, um, well, I mean, sooner or later I'm going to have to start to care about something because being in this position of just not being indifferent is not cool and it doesn't feel good. And see how it's right under the Five of Pentacles. There's definitely um, kind of a, a, a shadow of that feeling in this second week of August. And um, I'm just getting a sense of that, that something has been going on for a long time. Um, 
with the foundations of an issue. So um, if you were unhappy in a relationship um, and you could sense that things were falling apart or uh, with a, a company or a business or any other situation, I see that it's continuing to slowly deteriorate um, in, in August. And um, this, has been, this is something that's been going on for a long period of time. Um, with, the, with the Four of Cups reversed, to me, it just signals that um, you might have been ignoring it or you may have not wanted to look at it because um, he's just kind of, see how he's not looking at the cup that's being offered to him. Um, so definitely, um, whatever it is, it's being so, I feel like the feeling I'm getting is like suppressing, suppressing something that just uh, naturally wants to occur. This tower wants to come down, but I'm just feeling like you're having trouble moving on from it. You're having trouble moving on and healing and psychologically creating space for yourself to do that. With the strength reversed, um, some of you, now this doesn't apply to all of you, but some of you may be feeling uh, drained and, and possibly just not even feeling really, not even feeling, um, you may be dealing with a medical issue that leaves you feel that you're feeling weak or that you can't, um, you're just not able to attend to this issue because it's just too much. But I do see it towards the end of the middle of August that things in your home life are going to improve you will have the stability and the joy, the joy and the the, uh, the homecoming and the feeling of warmth at home and the stability that you crave so much. So I do see it's actually a small victory here, um, and I think it's because you're you're standing up for what you believe and you're continuing, you're you're fighting, you're fighting to. Uh, get justice, you're fighting for for balance and stability and you are gonna get that. So um, Libra, whatever was happening here, I do think that like after the middle of August, going into the end of August, not only will you start to get a small victory but and the stability that you need at home, um, I, I can actually hear people cheering like, yay, you did it. But um, that, all those things will come out into the open and there will be uh, a sort of uh, a reckoning. There will be like um, a final decision is made and, and things can kind of uh, see how the people are coming out of their graves and being released. Um, there's This is like a also a card of like the first aid kit. So help in the form of a divine angel or help in the form of of uh, the help that you've been looking for is on its way and the trumpet is is literally it's 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 blared its horn so um i'm i think you're going to be receiving some big news um you could be getting a letter or a or a, a, an email or a phone call or some news from another person coming to you that um kind of sets this issue free. What's done is done and um, you can look over the past and see um, all that happened and come to a, piece, a place of uh, a final decision and know that from this point on it's, uh, it's, it's just moving forward at this point. With the Page of Swords reversed, I still see you being a bit wary about something that happened in the past and even maybe uh, being wary about being stuck in the past because you know that the relationship wasn't working for you. There wasn't a commitment there and um, yeah, that's what I'm getting is that you, you're very cautious about being stuck in the past or um, you may have even gotten some, some news or some gossip about an ex relationships not relationship that he, this person wasn't committed or that couldn't commit themselves um and then the overall message i'm getting uh is that there's um some planetary forces some energies that are maybe beyond your control that are just halting movement for for a for a while um going into september i don't 
I'm not getting that the momentum is there yet um, just because the energy is blocked with the chariot reverse but there is a need to regain balance you do need to balance um, the light and the dark energies you need to come to terms with what happened and um, you know regain your footing so that you can move forward with both of your horses in balance you're going to need to you're going to need to bring your energies into balance so you can move forward again Okay, Libra, let me go ahead and do your oracle reading. Okay. Spirit, what are the messages for Libra? Libra sun, Libra moon, and Libra rising. Spirit, what are the messages for Messages for the sun, Libra moon, Libra rising. Spare one of the messages. Libra sun, Libra moon, and Libra rising. The card that I pulled. Um, the oracle card that I pulled is called yearning and it says longing for someone undesired separation pining this is number 40 Let's see if you guys can see that So it did come up upright. The divination for this oracle says, yearning for someone you may not even have met, yearning and pining for someone who you love and for the moment are separated from. You may be feeling a great gulf for distance open up between you and someone you love. This may be a physical distance or a distance due to beliefs and lifestyles. Yearning for a connection and a closeness that seems to be evading you at the moment. A longing for the one you love to be by your side. Not being able to, be, to bear another day of separation. Making choices that will enable you to be together. Feeling that destiny and fate are entwining your emotions and psyche with those of another soul. And that it is inevitable that you will be together. A feeling of meant to be. But until that can be so, a feeling of being star-crossed. Circumstances can be changed if both beings are willing, longing to be with someone even beyond this lifetime, and feeling discontent until it is so. Wow, powerful message. Longing for someone, undesired separation and pining. So often we too have yearned for so many people, places, things, experiences that are not to be ours. To be mermaid is to dive in, to immerse, to swim deeply, and to not understand what it must be to be so indifferent to life. So yes, as with the little mermaid of your stories, there have been foolish things done, exchanges made, and pain endured when we have fallen in love with a life or a place that we cannot truly experience in our current form. To be mermaid is to feel without the judgment and logic you so often apply. We are of water born and in water, in the psyche, in emotions, and in love, with feeling every aspect of our potential. And sometimes that has brought us pain, and sometimes we know that this pining and longing can kill us, and you too, which is why we come to you now. We know you too are feeling this pain, this yearning, that is a kind of stretching of the soul till it feels it might break free from you and go in search of what you desire. But we are here to also tell you that the feeling you are experiencing will pass, that you can expect a breakthrough, where your capacity to feel and to love and to heal and to adore is growing stronger and stronger. And as you feel this, it is possible you may wonder about your connection to reality and to what you call sanity. Yearning is deep, is painful, is what takes place when two souls 
who have deeply marked their energy and their fates and their destinies are separated. I do not know when they will be together again. It is natural. Creatures of the sea and of the forest do this, and so do you. The pain will pass. And if it is destiny that your yearning will bring you close again, it will be so. We know this feeling. We comfort you. Know its beauty or know it not at all. I don't know if there's much more that I can say, except this is such a beautiful card. And I know that for a select few of you, this is going to resonate very deeply. Um, I'm getting a sense that some of you are going through something with a relationship right now. And for those of you um, that I'm reading for, I think this card is really going to hit home. You may be separated from someone that you feel is your um, soulmate um, that you have deep karmic ties with. And um, so I really, I hope this message resonates with you. Leave me some comments. Let me know what's going on. And um, I'm sending you guys love and light, Libra, love and light to you guys. And, and um, uh, please uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to reading for you guys um, in the near future. All right. Take care, Libra.